Vegas Caesars have been looking for a new titler for a long, long time. And we finally got it in Vegas 8. This titler can be very simple or it can be very complex. It all depends on how you'd like to use it. It's not everything that some folks want. In other words, it doesn't have 3D extrusion and, and some of these kinds of things, but it's got some very powerful, really cool features. Let's take a look at the new Pro Titler. We'll start with a new project here, and I'm just gonna grab a couple of pieces of media. And we'll grab this one here, drop it down on our timeline, and let's choose something else here that's related, there we go. Got this little guy, we'll create a little crossfade between the two of them. And just let this loop through. And we might as well set up our project so it's 16 by 9. So we'll just uh, select each one of these and choose match output aspect ratio. There we go. Now we've got a 16 by 9 shot. Let's insert a new video track by Control Shift Q. And let's create a selection that's going to determine the length of our title. So we'll just drag and create. Now we're going to right click and choose insert generated media. And right here you'll notice we have a new option. This is the new Sony Pro Type Titler. Double click that to insert it. And this is what the new Titler looks like. It's very simple to use. We're going to use it in its most basic form to begin with. To insert text, all we need to do is double click inside of this preview window area. So we'll double click and this opens up the sample text and we can see that as it shows up inside of our window there. So let's type in summertime fun. And it's that quick, it's that easy. We now have something on our window that we can work with. Now to choose your font, we're going to come over here to the font family, size, etc. However, unlike the previous Vegas tool, we'll need to select this if we want to change the font. So we're going to, to select the text by clicking and dragging over it. Now we'll go through and change the font. You'll notice that as we just simply drag over, we start seeing all of the different types of fonts that we've got there. So I think maybe I'm gonna grab this CK handprint one here. And it might be that I want to change the font size. It's still selected. So notice here that this can be made larger or smaller. So let's make it uh, fit right there. And we can also enable our title overlay so that we can see exactly how large we can go. We'll take that right to the edges of the safe area there. We'll turn that back off. We can also change the weighting of the font. Maybe we want it to be bold or semi-bold or extra heavy. So we've got a number of different choices. Now bear in mind that not all of the fonts have uh, all of these different types of uh, features available. We can also change the slant. So there's quite a few things that we can do with the, the uh, content that we're looking at here. Just like previous Vegas tools, when you double click, it resets it back to its default point. We can also change line margins if we've got multiple things going on and custom kerning if we want to change the way that the letters themselves are kerned. So we've got these features set up. Let's next go to style. Style here, we can change the fill color. So perhaps we want that to be uh, a little bit more red. And it might be that we just need to change the hue overall. So as we slide through here, we can see our hue shifting. It will make that be uh, yellow because yellow is kind of a fun color. And here's where we're going to adjust the opacity or transparency of the letters, just like that. And then finally, we can change the value of the saturation right here. So we can determine how saturated that is. We'll close that box there. We can also add a stroke. Now, for the moment, we don't have one, but maybe we want to stroke that with some other color. So let's come up here to our, our hue. And let's shift our value up. So as we shift our value up, now the hues become available. And let's stroke that with something, maybe a little bit more of an orange. There we go. And how much stroke would we like? Click on stroke width. You can see that stroke starting to come into place right there. Now, I do recommend that if you're, you're using your stroke tool, I recommend you put it in best auto or best half or best full, one of the best modes, so that you can see exactly how that stroke is going to work. We can add a background color. If we need to add a background color to that selection, we can also add a strike through to that selection and change the color and so forth and change the thickness of that strike through. And we'll leave the strike through off. We'll choose underline. Perhaps we want to underline that. And again, we can add or change the thickness. 
Now, all of these things can be collapsed simply by clicking on the small triangle that we see there. Let's turn off underline. And then finally, we'll go to our, our open type. This allows us to have some other options uh, depending on what's happening with the, the type of font that we've got and so forth. It'll also allow us to do things like set up our numerical style, fractions, slash zeros, etc. So if we need to insert some of those kinds of things, we can. Once we've got our text set up, we're going to come up to the text edit mode bar or escape key, either one, and click, and this turns it off. Now we can get into some other features of what can be done with the text. We have three tabs here, the Transform tab, the Effects tab, and the Layout tab. Now, all of these can be keyframed and worked with in different modes, but we're going to just simply start out with the Effects tab, and we're, let's uh, add a shadow, a drop shadow, to our text. And you'll notice as we select that, we have a drop shadow. Let's en enlarge that, or in other words, we'll expand that property, and we'll determine how much offset we get. Now you can see a little bit better that, that shadow sticking in under there, and there's our vertical offset. We've got that. Let's set it up right about there. And what's our shadow color going to be? It might be that we want to uh, make that be a blue or white or some other color there. We, again, we can go through our HSV and change the, the hue to be whatever we want. Might be fun to have it kind of come in with a blue there underneath. And we'll shift our offsets back to where they originally were. Just like any other Vegas tool, when we hold down the control key, we get fine tuning of that particular value. So we've got that. Maybe add a little bit of blur to the word summertime fun in the shadow. Now we've got a blur. We can add a glow, just like with previous versions of Vegas. So now we've got a little bit of a glow there. And again, we can expand that and choose the amount of glow we have. And that can be completely keyframed in or out. And then finally, a Gaussian blur. We may want to add a blur to it to, to introduce or remove a title from the face. So we can expand all of these different features. We'll move on.